The teen in your house may like this. A local author has written a young adult science sci-fi novel called Out of Shobaba. It has to do with December 12th, 2012, which according to Mayan legend is the end of time, an Ohio girl who is thrown back in time. Author Liz Coley joins me this morning. Liz, first of all, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Now, this book came to you while you were on vacation in Belize, correct? Because it is set in Mayan times. It was a sudden moment of inspiration. We were doing a night tour uh -huh. uh, to look at the peeper frogs and poisonous caterpillars and yeah. leafcutter ants. And our tour guide pointed to the moon and he said the name of the Mayan moon goddess is Ishel. And I knew in that moment that I had to write a story about a girl named Michelle who got transported back in time and was mistaken for the moon goddess. And a lot of people think that that was, that was more simple times, but, I mean, that world is pretty complicated that she's thrown into away from her family. There is politics, war, um, you know, survival is very difficult in that time. And it was a very complicated and sophisticated civilization, actually. Right, exactly. Why, why, why the end of time? Why was that important to you? Everyone makes a big deal about this this mythos that the Mayan calendar actually ends, and uh -huh. it does, um, on December 21st, 2012. That's supposed to be the end of the fourth age of man, and nobody, of course, knows what that means except that three ages have gone before. Sure. <laughs> and so I thought, well, this is a great opportunity to talk about that story and to think about what might come next. And, and when you said when you write, a lot of the times when you write, since you're a stay-at-home mom, you're writing while shuttling, shuttling the kids off to the many different things they have to do, like Tybo and all kinds of other things. Yeah, now right? it's during ballet. My boys are gone, but my daughter's at home, so I'm writing during ballet class and hip-hop class. And, really, <laughs> and you say that you want your writing, your novel, to be an inspiration to women out there to write, correct? Just to pursue your dreams. Yeah. I mean, you, it, it, you, it's hard to balance uh, motherhood and uh, employment out of the house. Sure. I know that I can't. I, have no end of admiration for people who manage to do it. Right. So I found a way that I could be at home and still um, exercise my imagination and try to do something productive. You went to Yale, you met your husband, uh, had a family, but you still were able to hold on to your dreams. Yeah. Do you have it all? Well, we're working on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're working on it. Yeah. We want to tell you about uh, a book signing. Uh, you can meet Liz. It's going to happen this Friday through Sunday is the convention. Uh, at Friday at 8 o'clock at night, you're going to be doing... I'll be, I'll be reading Friday night at 8. And then you'll be doing, signing books at noon. Right, signing books at noon on Saturday. And you just signed a book deal. I did, with Harper Collins. Uh, this is a book about secrets that you can't even tell yourself. I got a question for you. When you were writing, putting pen to paper, how did you know it was going to turn into something? How did you know it was going to turn into this? This book and now a book deal. You just go on faith. You yeah. really do. Um, I do NaNoWriMo, which is National Novel Writing Month, every uh -huh. November, yeah. where you sit down and commit to writing 50,000 words. And it's just a marathon, and you just go on faith that something interesting is going to come out the other end of that solid month of effort. That, I, think, I think that is inspiring to me. Liz, all the best to you. The book is called Out of Shubaba. You can get it in bookstores now, or you can go to that uh, convention uh, coming up. All the best to you. Continue Thank you very success. much. Uh, we have much more straight ahead on the Fox.